Senior Report thanks Edmund Besh of Bristol Burgess Insurance Agency, 65 East Main Street, Westfield, for his generous grant to provide news to seniors. Funding is provided by a grant from New York State Senator Catherine M. Young, representing Western New York's 57th District with a local office in Olean. Funding is provided by a grant from Absolute Care of Westfield, committed to returning the favor to those who spent a lifetime caring for others. Absolute Care is located at 26 Cass Street in Westfield. Dave Cass and Rick Newell provide funding on behalf of the Lakeview Hotel and Restaurant at the Docks, located on Water Street, near the lake, in Mayville. From the Access Channel 5 television studio in Mayville, it's Senior Report with Reed Powers. Senior Report is broadcast live throughout northern Chautauqua County on Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. each week. Call in and share a thought, make a comment, ask a question, or simply wish someone a happy birthday on Chautauqua County's only live call-in senior program. Since 1995, Reed has been bringing viewers hundreds of interesting guests, informing the community on a variety of subjects. Here's the host of the show, Reed Powers. And what a beautiful day we have here at Chautauqua County. The snow is slowly sifting down. Uh, we have about a foot of snow now over here in Westfield, uh, Mayville area. And it's, it's beautiful, just beautiful, I must say. And the, the roads are pretty well cleared. The uh, road departments have been out. And the local powers are plowing away. And it looks like the skiers are going to have something to ski on now. And the snowmobilers are in seventh heaven. It's wonderful. Uh, that's one of the wonders of living in Chautauqua County is uh, even in the winter you have wonderful times because you have the sports, you have the opportunity to get outdoors, you can hike, you can snow, uh, you can snow ski, you can so snowmobile, there's all kinds of delightful entertainments here. Not to mention ice fishing. Ice fishing? What ice fishing? <laughs> that is one of the victims of a very mild winter we've had. We've had a wonderfully uh, warm winter, but uh, there's no ice to, to ice fish on Lake Chautauqua. <laughs> a lot of slush out there, but sorry guys, uh, let's hope it, uh, it, it uh, cements up for you later on in the year. And now one of the other <coughs> victims, of course, of the warm winter is the ice castle. The huge uh, winter uh, carnival we have over here in, in Mayville, which has uh, the beautiful ice castle, which is just glimmering in the, in the, in the sun, and in the, at night they light it up, it's gorgeous. <coughs> Built with ice right from the lake, and uh, it is just uh, it's sad that we won't be able to have it right now. Maybe maybe a little, it may freeze up real fast, but I don't have any great hopes because they need thick ice for this thing. They go out and cut it with saws and pile it up, and a lot of volunteers help. And it's just wonderful, and it is a sight to behold every single year. The same beautiful ice castle, which has gone and comes back, <laughs> like uh, it's wonderful. I love life in Chautauqua County, and all of us do, and we, we, most of us wouldn't move even though we have the highest taxes in the United States, and they're going to go higher. <coughs> Next week, we've got Jay Gould on, and we'll talk to him about the tax situation. Uh, the, uh, our, Greg, our uh, county executive, said, hey, this is a fake, uh, last year when they set it up, this is a phony uh, <laughs> phony budget. What you've done is taken all the expenses and moved them into next year. So now we'll have all the expenses we're spending from uh, the, uh, for this year, next year, plus next year's expenses. This is going to be it's going to be an insane tax increase, and there's no way to raise taxes here excepting on your house. Your real estate taxes just go up, and uh, it, I wonder what Jay Gould and company of the, uh, the Stockton County legislator legislature are planning to do about this. Maybe we'll have some secret formula, <laughs> like then maybe we'll move it into the next year. <laughs> Isn't that called kicking the can down the road, guys, like in Washington, D.C.? All right, here we go. Um, let's say uh, we have a lot of funny news in the, in the, on TV, if you get any. You know, the, 
all the TV is owned by the major corporations now, and they, uh, I think they're brainwashing, <laughs> frankly. Um, do you, they don't hear much about the war. The war in Iraq is over theoretically, but not really. You and I know that. Uh, we still have a zillion troops uh, posted just outside, ready to roll, and a lot, of, a lot of our troops are there, quote, training and so forth. And the bombings are going on, and they're blowing each other up, and the craziness, and I, I don't think it'll take long for them to to go right back into a state of civil war, which they were when we, we came along. Um, we did get rid of that rotten Hussein, but uh, <laughs> there's probably going to be a new one before you know it. Uh, the Middle East, I wish we wouldn't, uh, wouldn't even gone near it. Uh, it's, a, it's a disaster scene, and I'm not going to even say much about Afghanistan, which is, of course, we tripled the troops there, although we took all the troops out of, uh, many of the troops, most of the troops out of Iraq. They're all over in Afghanistan now, fighting that crazy war, which has bankrupted two or three countries. <laughs> Complete disaster, and here it is about to bankrupt us. Oh, well, we're already bankrupt. It's too late now. <laughs> oh, Congress, Congress. All right, uh, enough said. Ah, we got a lot of little stuff here, some fun things. You know, we have the greatest seniors. Uh, clubs in the world here in Chautauqua County, in their town clubs, village clubs, uh, their church clubs, there are all kinds of clubs, and they're just wonderful. Join one if you're not a member of one. One of the biggest, best is Dunkirk Federated Seniors. They have the whole school over there, and uh, it's, uh, they have a beautiful location, and not like the poor guys over in Fredona, they're getting the bums rush. <laughs> they haven't got any place. The town said, we're not going to pay the, 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 the rent anymore. Out, out you go. <laughs> Oh boy, Pomfret. Yeah, that, they're, they're catching a lot of a lot of stuff over there in Pomfret because of that. Um, fortunately, there's been a re-election, and maybe some new people will be able to uh, catch catch hold of things. I'm going to use my my cheaters here, friends. I had eye surgery, and I can see like a hawk from distance because that's what I elected. But up close, forget it. I need the cheaters. Okay. Uh, Duncan Federated, uh, I want to say happy birthday to, better, uh, to Betty Korzynski there. She is a uh, uh, happy birthday on January 9th, which is uh, a little bit past, but I just I couldn't resist. She's worked so hard, such a good person. Um, Charlene Hallmark is helper of the day, coming up for January 17th, and Wozinski is going to do it also. January 17th is the next meeting coming right up around the corner. Lakeshore Seniors. They have their uh, senior center at 45 Cliff Star Court uh, now, for the time being. <laughs> uh, Barbara, Bev, uh, Barbara, Barbara Rich. It's not a funny name. Barbara and Barbara Second Rich after it, you know, Barbara, Barbara Rich. Uh, followed by the singing of God Bless America. And they uh, had a reading entitled A New Day, which is read by the acting chaplain over there, uh, Carol Kozlowski. They sent a card to Jenny Mitchell at the county home, incidentally. You know, a, lot, a number of our members in our senior clubs do wind up in the county home or in uh, nursing care because uh, that's, that's the end, you know, and uh, that's part of life and part of death. We're all here and one day we'll all be gone. <laughs> uh, next meeting is January 18th over there at the Lakeshore Seniors. Sandra, Sandra Tapasto and Jean Zott will be doing the, the honors, serving the coffee, making the cookies, you know, the whole schmear. Mount Carmel has a nice little club over um, there, and they say, hey, keep in there, keep handing, we're ready to go. Uh, join our club if you want to. Silver Creek President Car Carm Tampio called the meeting to order with a Pledge of Allegiance, as they always do at all our clubs. <clears throat> you know, some schools are not doing the pledge anymore. Is that, is that possible to believe? Uh, Silver Creek uh, collected uh, 100 bucks, which they donated to the uh, uh, Silver Creek Pantry. They have a food pantry over there, as most towns and villages do, and they're well used, believe me. The, these days, economically, people are in trouble, thanks to the uh, way things are going, the banks and everything, you know how it goes, they all stole everything. Uh, they're having a meeting January 18th next, and it'll be a soup supper and lots of things for everybody. They're going to have a Valentine's party. Uh, it looks like February 15th, and uh, everybody's having a Valentine's party. And you dress in red, usually. And you, uh, you think, happy, wonderful thoughts of love and delight. <coughs> Forestville. They have quite a bunch over there, the Pioneer Social Club. Uh, you may know Carol Pierce. She's the president. She does the job over there. And happy birthday, she tells us, to Wilma Kroll, Betty Kazora, Loretta Nobles, Dick Mosier, 
Dorothy Schneider and the Sunshine Girl sent a sympathy card to Arlene Miller. That's one of the things you have. If you get sick or you're disabled or something, the whole club is behind you. You have a whole family there. there. They decided over there in, uh, in Forestville that they're going to hold off on their uh, senior trips until the spring. Let's see what happens. Uh, it might be better to do that. They collect coupons, incidentally, for servicemen and for schools. You know, a lot of schools receive uh, considerable assistance if you collect coupons or uh, box tops or whatever it is and send them in. Check that out. And might as well just save them rather than throw them away and get some good things for your kids or for anybody else for that matter. Next meeting over there is uh, February 6th, incidentally. Silver Creek Seniors, there's uh, another club uh, group over there. Uh, Ed Newman does the job and uh, he says, get your dues in there due to, uh, uh, immediately. Don't forget, everybody, pay your dues. They're usually $3, $5, some of them are nothing. <coughs> um, I just wanted to say one thing here. Bingo was called by Ernie Hilliker. All clubs have bingo at the end of the job, the, the period. And then we'll be having a meeting January 17th. Sinclairville, a bunch of great folks over there. They're having a, a luncheon on, the next uh, meeting will be a luncheon on Valentine's Day at noon. That's easy to remember, the 14th of uh, February. The president over there is Elaine Palmer Titus. And if you, if you know her, she's a hardworking, wonderful person. She says, for your Valentine's Day, bring some photographs of yourself when you were little kids. It's kind of fun, isn't it? <coughs> the younger days wear red clothing, of course. They meet monthly over there in Sinclairville in the fire hall. And thank you, the fire department, for permitting them that uh, privilege. Uh, the fire halls are really wonderful to the seniors. Uh, Steger High Rise, President Gordon, Gordon Rayner, and he says, come on over, we got a great thing. We do a mass every week, uh, January 20th at 10 a.m. is uh, Father Joseph Zalaka's doing a, 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 a service. Nominations of officers over there, and most clubs are nominating now, are March 13th. And consider running for office. <laughs> Who wants to? It's such a job, and you know, the pay is lousy. <laughs> what a gift, what a gift. Next meeting for the club over Steger, you had it, you know it, Valentine's Day. Okay, enough, they're telling me I'm finished with the news, whether you like it or not, I'm done. And we've got this guy coming on, John Hamels, he shoots from the hip. In the meantime, I have a public service announcement, which is just for you. What are you doing, dear? My finances. <laughs> Every week I divide my allowance, some to spend, some to charity. But the first thing I do is set aside 10% to save for my future. That's awfully grown up. Did you learn that in school? No, Dad taught me. He said if you want something tomorrow, you have to save today. Dad's saving for retirement. I'm saving for a new bike. Choose to save. To learn how to get started, get your free Power to Choose brochure. He's a smart man, your father. We got John Hamels, the doc. He has something to tell you. Here he goes. Morning, Reed. Good morning, folks. Just a quick reminder, uh, I, I said I would mention this again this week. There's a benefit for two fire, uh, injured firemen in Panama, uh, Adam Kester and David Dole, January 29th at the Lakewood Legion uh, in Lakewood from 1 to 7, folks. Uh, Reed was talking about firemen and, and, and helping out the senior citizens in all kinds of ways. Uh, support these folks. Get out there and help them out. Reed, today I just want to talk a little bit about um, good stewardship within the government and in our country as a whole. I don't know if you've been watching those commercials where down in the uh, Gulf uh, there's the BP representative that says, you know, the, the Gulf is all cleaned up now after the big oil spill and all that sort of thing. And, uh, and, I, and I start to think about, well, what does that got to do with us locally here? Well, I mentioned a while back that I've been sort of tracking this whole uh, situation with the uh, Chautauqua County landfill uh, site. And uh, you know, it's sort of the same way. You know, I, I think you've got folks that work really hard over there. I think we've got people that are doing something for us on behalf of, I believe it was what used to be 41 different uh, dump sites throughout the county, and they've consolidated it. It's a beautiful facility, but yet there's something going on that just is kind of in people's craw, and, and they're not happy about smells or this and that. And uh,